Indigo Park is currently one of the worst mascot horror games to come out this year. It's unoriginal. It just copies other better indie horror games like Poppy Playtime or Garden of Ban Ban. Its environments are unoriginal and overall it's just a boring experience. That is why Indigo Park is awful. Is that it? I mean, yeah, that I mean, I, I, I mean, I was, I mean, I'm, I'm not exactly expecting like triple A material here. I mean, triple A has kind of turned to triple ass at this point. I think it's pretty decent. I think you're just being a bit too harsh. I think it's pretty unremarkable. I mean, considering the fact that this is made by just a really small group of people who don't really have that much experience in game development. I mean, it's still, it's still pretty impressive. Well, I mean, it, it, it's, uh, it's an original. It, it just uh, copies from other mascot games. Yeah, because it's a real world environment that they use as reference. How do you think how do you think all these other games got their environments? They didn't originate factories or industrial locations or amusement parks, did they? I mean, they just I, it's just the chase sequence. Oh, because a monster chase sequence hasn't been done before in any other video game. I'm pretty sure a lot of games just wind up doing something similar that other games do. I, I, don't, I don't really think it's just straight up copying. No, nothing happened. Yeah, because it's building tension. It, it doesn't have to have something happen every five seconds. What, do you need Subway Surfer gameplay happening when you're going through that? I mean, hey, for a first start of a new indie horror game, it does a whole lot more than a lot of indie games did at their start. Like, objectively, it has more going for it in its first chapter than Poppy does. What is your point? It's, but it's just unoriginal. You know, I would consider something unoriginal being something like watching some sort of popular mascot horror VHS analog animation that someone made and post on YouTube. Going over it and analyzing it just give incredibly dull narration of what exactly happens on the screen and then draw it out for about half an hour. I'm not even getting half an hour to about 40 minutes of nothing but listening to someone waffle on in the most dull commentary you'll ever hear. Okay, now you're just just being awful. I think it's pretty awful to defend a certified lover boy. Certified pedophile. Uh, who was also a Nazi. Uh, you're Jewish! How do you screw that up? Why are you saying these things to me? Don't you know what I've been through? Don't you know my my struggle with drug addiction? Uh, what what um relevancy? Listen, dude, I'm sorry. That doesn't mean I can't criticize you. Uh 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 Connection terminated of you. The dark. Don't weaponize your audience and falsely accuse me of doxing or something.